Another year, another trip to Seattle. These things are becoming a bit of an annual ritual for me, and something I look forward to year in, year out. Not just because I get to see friends in real life, do dumb things, and embarrass myself and everyone involved, or even just get to see 343 and the friends there. But because, in a way, Seattle's very therapeutic. It's a break from the mundane, and even when I come back to Virginia, when it's all over, I get excited for the next time because it gets better and better every year. I like knowing I have something to look forward to, and next PAX I'm going to make sure I get myself a proper vlogging camera so that I can make a quality production of the visit. For now though, I hope you enjoy my crappy iPhone footage. I actually arrived in Seattle around 10ish in the morning and immediately met up with Hidden Xperia downtown. It was there when I found out that this absolute goober bought a $20 bowl of fruit for breakfast and was wearing these ridiculous shoes. I missed him so much. We spent a majority of the day killing time in Seattle, hanging out with Actman, playing the N64, until the annual rebarbecue. And it was there when I met even more people. I was able to hang out with Chris Raygun, who I found out was a very, very tiny man. I met one of Xbox's researchers who is working with 343 on Halo, Jesse, who is a fantastic person. The Lord himself, Jeremy Cook, was there as well, and so many more. Needless to say, it was a fantastic way to start the weekend. <laughs> I'm getting this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> it was also a lot of fun seeing people from the community come to Seattle for the first time and be part of the gang. The Halo Museum was fantastic as always. At PAX, I managed to play Dying Light's Bad Blood spin-off, which I really enjoyed. And I even got to meet the art director for Halo Infinite, who I found to be a very fantastic person. I was able to introduce myself as we were all leaving 343 for the day, and I can't stress enough how much this man respects the legacy of Halo artistically. And if that trailer at E3 is anything to indicate, I think we're in good hands. The final day in Seattle was a bit sad, knowing that I had to be flying back that night, but it didn't stop it from being a good day as well. Hidden Xperia was treated to some Chick-fil-A, which he approved of, and at a different gathering, I actually met the Elder himself, Marty O'Donnell. I got to personally shake this man's hand and thank him for the music that was such an important part of my childhood. We talked about music and games, the importance of it, and many other fun things. I really will get a better camera because I'm embarrassed by the lack of footage and pictures this year. My phone was nearly full, and honestly that's not even an excuse because phone quality video is bad anyways. I'll end the video on this note though, before cutting to fun b-roll of 343 Industries. I love Seattle. I love the climate there. I love the Halo community. I love gaming culture, and I'm looking forward to next year more than ever. So without further ado guys, cut to the footage. Dear to my heart because like I personally came from the community and it's always uh, always awesome to see like in the representation of like the franchise itself the community is just as much a part of what we display and show off to everyone 